Welcome to Java Application Deployment, using Ansible Demo. In this video, we are going to demonstrate, the deployment of the Java application, using the Ansible Configuration Management Tool, on three different operating systems. CentOS, Red Hat based, Ubuntu, Debian based, and Windows. The complete process orchestrated through the Jenkins pipeline. The tools, which are used in this Java application deployment are GitLab, is used for source code management. Jenkins, is used for continuous integration. SonarCube, is used for code quality checks. JFrog Artifactory, is used to manage the binaries. Ansible, is used for configuration management and continuous deployment. Terraform, is used to provision the servers on OpenStack. OpenStack, as the private cloud. Let's explore the workflow of Java application, stage by stage. In the first stage, we will provision three virtual machines on OpenStack, CentOS, Ubuntu, and Windows, using Terraform. A Jenkins job is written to pull the Terraform code from GitLab, and execute it in OpenStack, to provision three machines. In the next stage, the Jenkins job will pull the Java application source code from GitLab. A webhook is configured on GitLab, so that the ongoing deployment job will trigger automatically when a commit happens in a particular branch. In the next stage, the Java application source code will be built using Maven plugin, either in Jenkins master, or slave, based on a target operating system. In case, any failure in the built step, pipeline will be aborted, the deployment package archived on Jenkins for future use. In this next stage, Jenkins uses the SonarCube scanner plugin for continuous inspection of code quality, to perform automatic reviews for static analysis of code to detect bugs, code smells, and security vulnerabilities. SonarCube offers report duplicated code, coding standards, unit tests, code coverage, code complexity, comments, bugs, etc. when the code doesn't meet the quality standards, an alert mail trigger to the development team, and the pipeline will be aborted. Once the code meets the quality standards, the archived Java application package will be pushed to the JFrog Artifactory repository. In the final stage, Jenkins will execute the Ansible playbook on all the servers, which will perform the following tasks to target servers. Download, and install Java, download, install and configure Tomcat, pull the WAR file from JFrog, and deploy the WAR file in Tomcat. Finally, the Java application will be deployed on all three servers. Let's see the pipeline in action. First, we will create the three servers. We have a separate Jenkins job to create this server. This job will create three servers in OpenStack. Let's trigger the job. The job has been completed now. Let us check the OpenStack. Here we can see all three servers created. CentOS, Ubuntu, and Windows. This is a Java application web page of the CentOS server. This is a Java application web page of the Ubuntu server. This is a Java application web page of the Windows server. So, all the three servers web page doesn't contain any content because the code deployment has not been triggered yet. Now, let us see how the continuous integration and continuous deployment of the Java application happen via the Jenkins pipeline. Let us trigger the Jenkins pipeline for Java application deployment. In the first stage, the Jenkins pipeline job is preparing servers for Ansible node execution, adding all the servers as nodes to the Ansible controller. And add the respective role to the run list. In the next stage, the Jenkins pipeline job is pulling the source code from GitLab. In the next stage, it will build the Java source code using the Maven plugin, either in Jenkins master, or slave, based on the target operating system. In the next stage, sonar cube analysis is getting executed, and it's validated against the quality gate. As the quality gate is passed, the Jenkins pipeline is pushing the archived package to JFrog Artifactory. In the final stage of deployment, the Jenkins pipeline job will execute playbook on all three servers. The playbook will install Java, install, and configure Tomcat, pull the WAR file from JFrog, and deploy the WAR package in the Tomcat server. Now the deployment has been completed. 
Let us refresh the web pages to see whether the Java application is deployed and hosted on all three servers. For the CentOS server, here we can see the updated web page for the Java application. For the Ubuntu server, this is the updated web page for the Java application. And finally, for the Windows server, this is the updated web page for the Java application. Let us see the continuous integration and continuous deployment in action. As a developer, let me make a visible change in a source code via GitLab UI and see how the changes are deployed automatically in the servers. Here, I am changing the heading in the application, which should be visible in the application after the automated deployment. Let's commit the changes. Let's see Jenkins. Here the pipeline job is triggered automatically, via the webhook as the administrator user. The pipeline is getting completed. Now the changes should be deployed on all three servers. Let us refresh the web pages. For the CentOS server, here we can see the updated web page. For the Ubuntu server, this is the updated web page. And finally, for the Windows server, this is the updated web page. This is the complete workflow of Java application deployment using Ansible on the various OS platform. For more information, please browse www.zippyops.com. Please follow us on social media, links are available in the description. Like, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to our channel for the latest happenings on DevOps. Thank you for watching this video.